Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bath in the Bathroom is the only place where you can place your gadgets in peace. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also smash that bell notification so you can be up to date with all of our latest videos. On this channel, we review all things tech and how technology make your life easier. And today we want to have a look at the infrared thermometer. Let's go ahead and get it to our workbench and see what's in the box. Be right back with my final thoughts. Alright, we have it to our workbench so you can see infrared thermometer. Have a quick look around the box. You can see all the specifics in the back of the box. All of you nerds out there, these are the specifications you will be looking for. Go ahead and open up the box. Plain Jane box, nothing special to see here. The first thing you notice on the top of the thermometer, you have the user manual. And it's not a heavy lift to read, very simple, just a couple of pages. It have all of your, uh, again, specifications, all of the numbers that the nerds will need. Only thing I need this for is just to point and see exactly what the temperature is of whatever I'm monitoring. So this is good for drones, this is good for um, cooking, things like that. So I just need it for the basic use. Alright, I looked inside the box to make sure that I got everything and everything is out. Let's have a look at the thermometer itself. And you can see it sort of looks like a radar gun. It got a nice design to it, nice bright colors. I love the grip on the handle, nice feel to it. The trigger is very responsive. So yes, I'm digging that. You got a nice um, LED display right there. The buttons feel very tactile, very responsive feeling to me. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and install the battery that comes with. You just want to open up this little piece to the handle, line everything up, and voila, you're good to go. It really don't get no easier than that. Alright, so we have some juice going to it. I mean, basically after that, you just want to set the mode, set your Fahrenheit, all your Celsius, whatever you want to set it to. You pull the trigger and it comes on, and then it's left up to you to set it. So remember, refer to your user manual, but it's fairly simple, guys. You have your different modes. You have your laser, where you want your laser on and off. And again, to be repetitive, you have your Fahrenheit, all your Celsius that you can set it to. You also can set different alarms, so when it gets to a certain temperature, it set off a, a little alarm for you and you can see the little laser right there pretty cool I mean the commands is very basic um, like I said if you scroll through the mode button you can set your different alarms and you have your different settings right there but if you want your laser on you long press pressing the top button as I'm doing right here and then if you want to switch it from Fahrenheit to um, Celsius you long press again the top button and they also have a backlight so that comes in handy if you operate it in a dark space right there like I said guys it's pretty straightforward you toggle through and then you press up and down on the side to adjust your numbers now here's the reason why I'm so excited about this infrared thermometer guys you know when you have your gadgets it's all about tools and having the necessary tools you need for the upkeep of your gadgets and one of the things I'm very excited about this infrared thermometer is to use manly with my Mavic drone and the reason why I want to use it with my Mavic drone is because the Mavic Pro is a very healthy investment for the channel I mean you're talking about almost a thousand dollars when you include the batteries in the carrying case and one of the things I can do is after the long flights I can come and I can check the temperatures of the motors so they'll let me know ahead of time if I have an issue with one of my motors I can get it repaired and that way it doesn't fall out the sky from overheating. On the infrared thermometer it have more than one application you just don't have to use it to check the heat of your motor that's coming off the drone. Now you can see in this clip right here I'm using it to check the temperature of the boiling water and it seems to be pretty accurate guys. I want to show you another example of how I'm going to put a tray of ice at the top and how it go from hot to cold. I'm digging that laser sci-fi all the way. So we've decided to conduct an experiment using the infrared thermometer and we tried to fool it. We put an ice tray on the top of the boiling water and we begin to alternate funnel water to the ice tray and you can see guys that we wasn't able to fool it at all. Very accurate going from hot to cold, cold to hot. It pretty much gave us the spot on temperature.
all right guys so let's recap i absolutely love the color i love the design i love the build quality i love the ease of use this is something that i must have i think this is a recommended tool for all of the gadgets enthusiasts out there something to help you monitor your gadgets you know that overheating is one of the leading cause in gadgets failure so if you're doing any reviews or conducting any experiments on cell phones this will allow you to get the temperature of those particular cell phones and again for me for my dji mavic Pro, I can also monitor my motors after a long flight and help me to determine if I want to put it back in the air or not. To me, that is priceless to have a tool like this. And if you just want to keep it around the kitchen to help you do a little cooking, hey, this thing get the job done, also. All right, guys, let's go back to the bathroom. I'm going to share with you my final thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Taking a bath in the bathroom is the only place where you can play your gadgets in peace. So here are my final thoughts on this particular infrared thermometer. Absolutely love it. I love the build quality, love the ergonomics. I love the little grit right there. Guys, you can see how big this LCD panel is right here, or LCD screen, I should say, right there. So it gives you a lot of real estate, and I love the backlit light that help you see it in dark areas. This is a must-have if you want to maintain your gadgets, guys. As for me, I got Got it from my DJI Mavic drone because the last thing you want to do is put a drone in the air and one of the motors going to failures so it helped me kind of maintain as I'm flying my multiple batteries throughout the day but like I said you can use it in the kitchen you can use it if you're monitoring the heat of a cell phone anything even if you're an electrician and you want to monitor the heat of some walls if you're doing some wiring guys so I get this product five stars out of five guys until next time it's your boy taking the bathroom peace don't forget to subscribe 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 don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.